But we begin this Friday afternoon with Governor Whitmer's big announcement affecting restrictions for sports, both professional and high school. Hi, everybody. I'm Karen Drew, the governor, easing restrictions at outdoor stadiums, but adding new requirements for school sports. Here is a look at the major changes. Outdoor arenas and stadiums can be at 20% capacity if they have plans in place to reduce the spread of the virus. All athletes ages 13 to 19 must get tested weekly to take part in sports. And the order allows people to go unmasked at gatherings at home if everyone has been vaccinated. Rob Loney working this story. He's live at Comerica Park with the changes ahead there. And he's got a special guest. Yes, I do. And we'll be talking to him. His name is Chris Lawrence. He's with the Tigers here in just a second. But let's talk about what the governor had to say this morning. In particular, it has to do with the fact that we are seeing cases rising in the state of Michigan. And yet the governor feels confident that we can re-engage some things. That's the word she uses. And she's gone ahead and moved forward with allowing more people here at Comerica Park. So let's hear from the governor what she had to say about this and the high school sports situation. High school student athletics will now be required to get tested before all sports practices and competitions. Outdoor stadiums can now go up to 20% capacity with certain COVID mitigations in place. And finally, vaccinated people can remove their masks in residential gatherings if all participants have been vaccinated. Well, those are some important changes and here at Comerica Park, where they originally thought they could only have a thousand fans, you're now going to be allowed to have 8200 with me, Chris Lawrence from the Tigers, Vice President of Operations. And Chris, the big thing that a lot of people want to know, because it's not just about opening day, what about tickets? How, how and when do we get involved with buying tickets? Yeah, so March 25th, 10 a.m. at Tigers.com, single game tickets will go on sale. Uh, we're working through our 1901 Society members now, but March 25th, 10 a.m., Tigers.com. And uh, just quickly, uh, some of the things you're going to worry about in terms of being a fan and coming. You have to have, make sure that you're healthy and there's some other things, right? Yeah, sure. So do a pre-screen, which will be available with your tickets on your MLB app. Uh, wear a mask. Uh, pay attention to all the announcements and signage that we have in terms of seating locations and all the other health and safety protocols that are in place. But uh, most of all, just come down, have a great time, uh, wear a mask. And uh, we're ready for you. Okay, well, Chris, there ha there's a lot more to this, and Chris didn't say it all, and that's good. But we'll have that for you coming up on Local 4 News at 5, because there are things you really need to know if you're going to be coming out to the ballpark, especially if the governor starts ratcheting back so that you can have more fans in the stands. So we'll have that again on Local 4 News at 5. So reporting downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, thank you, Rod. We appreciate it.